God. The thing that will guide us this year is the Word of God. God's Word. Amen. The Word of God. God's Word. Words are the expression of thought. Words have meaning. And so we ought to always be careful of the words that we use. All right. Amen. Many a person has, has been scarred Amen. in life because someone chose to use words that did not build up but were designed to tear down. Parents, we, we have to be careful how we talk to our children. Amen. Amen. Even when they have done things that we told them not to do. Amen. Even, even when they uh, kind of cause us to... Well, Amen. 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 All right. Amen. We still have to be careful Amen. of the words that we choose. Husbands and wives. You got to be careful by the words that we use with each other. Amen. Particularly at a moment of frustration and disappointment. Because the word once spoken, you can't grab it back. And as soon as it goes out, sometimes the damage is already done. Amen. Amen. No amounts of I'm sorry, sweetheart. Well, no amount of candy and flour will necessarily replace that hurt that was caused by words that we use. We ought to be about edifying and building one another up. Even when we come together in corporate worship, yes, sir. as the children of the Lord, we ought to be careful how we talk to each other. We ought to be careful how we talk to each other in the house of the Lord, as brothers and sisters in the Lord. Because it's very easy. To fly off the hammer right. and, and say something that damages someone yeah. for days to come. Yeah. So it behooves all of us to take a moment and pause and consider carefully whether we really want to say that. All right, all right. All right. And, and what would be the anticipated outcome of our speech? Yeah. You know, we have lived to see a day and time even in our political arena. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Folk just lie. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to say it like that. I, I thought about how I could say it without saying it like that. And every time I thought I came up with a way to say it, it just always gets back either, either telling the truth Yes, 
some point or another, won't tell you the truth. And try, they call it spin. They try to spin the words that they said that you heard them say what they said, but then they act like you heard it wrong. No, the language has not changed. The word that you use means something. You ought to know how to define the word that you're using. And then if it ain't what you intend to say, you ought not say it. Words matter. Because if we're going to be one nation under God, then those who will lead the nation politically need to be told when they are departing from what does say the Lord. All right, all right, all right. Hey, that's the job of the preacher. The job of the preacher ain't to be in the hip pocket of the president, the governor, the mayor, or anybody that's elected to a political office. The man of God must stand and declare what does say the Lord. Don't count too like the Lord. Scripture, there are two words that are translated word in the Bible. One is rhema. Rhema speaks of words which are spoken or written. So clearly, God's holy word is rhema. And yet, John tells us. In chapter 1, he says, in the beginning uh -huh. was the Word, yes. and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Word, capitalized there, yes. refers to that other word that is translated word in the Bible, and that is logos. Uh -huh. All right. It speaks of the person of Jesus Christ. All right. So then the Bible says that Jesus Christ yes. was or is the Word. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's true. The Word was with God, uh -huh. with, with. and the Word was God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That verse by itself then separates Christianity mm -hmm. yes. from any other world religion. <laughs> because there are some religions that will acknowledge that Jesus Christ lived. Mm -hmm. That he was born into the world. <laughs> but they do not attribute deity <laughs> To Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. This verse, God's word, mm -hmm. says he was in the beginning, mm -hmm. he was with God, with God. and he was God. Uh -huh. The same was in the beginning with God. Uh -huh. And so you cannot get to God without going through Jesus Christ. That's what he's trying to show us. All things were made by him. So when you go back to Genesis and you read what God said, let us make man in our image and have God like it. Now you know for sure who God was talking about. Jesus Christ was there in the beginning. The Bible In him was life, and the light was the light of men. Yes. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Yeah. The world don't understand. Yes. The world is in darkness. Amen. So those of us who have come to know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus 
of men says about us, ye are the light of the world. So then we are to be reflective of that which is intrinsic in Jesus Christ, the light of the world. So wherever you go, wherever I go, wherever we go, wherever us go, we are to always reflect who it is that we serve. Somebody looking. Yeah. Yeah. When they think all eyes are closed. Yeah. Or they think they're somewhere but don't nobody know them. Yeah. They behave differently yeah. than what they ought to be doing. Oh. You gotta check whether you in darkness yeah. or that you come out of darkness into the bottom of the left. Yeah. 